Welcome to Radio Helsinki, Doc Stanhope. Hey, uh, welcome out, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to uh, Radio <laughs> Some or Other. Should I leave the microphone only for you? <laughs> and here's Kathy with the traffic and weather. Give, give a big hello, Kathy. How's that ride home looking? <laughs> You know, I, none of the radio guys I've talked to, I've been doing radio all friggin' day, and you all talk like normal people. In the United States, every radio guy is some crazy guy. It's wacky 105 in the morning. We have Doug Stanhope. But we're gonna... You don't do that, and I love that. There's it's, no. Eff- it's a very serious country, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, almost too serious. Yeah, but hey, we have Little Steven, Little Steven show on, in our channel coming out later tonight and okay. then we're gonna ha- have more like that you know is that uh, like wolfman jack kind of exactly and the greatest music little, right. little steven so you have to rush. play shitty music in order to, uh, yeah <laughs> okay well, well here's some more boring songs but wait for little steven he'll be here <laughs> with good music later on <laughs> good hey normally at this time of day i have musicians f- full of the studio who She's are? a musician. That's my girlfriend, Bingo. Yeah, we have Bingo. My here. man, girl. Hello. My little boy, girl. Hello, Bingo. Hello. <laughs> my, my little. Uh, what do you call that? Not ambiguous. Uh, was it? Was it? Uh, never mind. Okay, Bingo is silent. <laughs> no, I'm trying to find a word. I've been drinking all day to power my way through <laughs> shitloads of promo and press and and you know, ass kissing and whatnot. So, <laughs> so my vocabulary is lacking right now. No, no, but you look good. I look, yeah. <laughs> it's a shame it's a radio. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I have a YouTube face in a high definition world. <laughs> but hey, my first shock was when you came in. You walked in with four different people, and I thought that as you are a stand-up comedian, you will be just traveling whole, or whole, whole the world alone by yourself. Well, I have my girlfriend here, and then the man is my manager who uh knows that uh i would completely screw up every tour and miss every gig uh if he wasn't here and then he's got our publicist and she's got our driver and then there's a midget who gives us hand jobs but (laughs) he couldn't fit on the elevator with us so he's waiting downstairs with antibacterial lotion in the back of our limo which is a (laughs) two-door Hey, Doug, you, you're going to have four shows in Finland from small towns. We'll see. Small towns. Yeah. We'll see. We take them one show at a time. <laughs> This tour could get canceled at any moment if I screw it up too badly. So, yeah, we start in Vasa. Hopefully they still want to do the show in Turku or Jablonski. What is it? Javascular or something? Yeah, Javascular sounds pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. I I don't really know where I'm going to tell you the truth. And maybe they let you back to Helsinki. If on Helsinki Friday. will have me on Friday, I will be here. <laughs> you just came from Norway. How was it? Uh, uh, it's been fun. All I've been doing is uh, I don't really do stand-up comedy. I'm actually stalking Pablo Francisco. <laughs> so I picked <laughs> up stand-up as a reason to just follow him around the Nordic countries. Uh, we had a very difficult breakup years ago, and I thought he handled it in a cowardly and immature fashion. And I want to confront him. I just don't seem to play the same town as him. I'm always one town behind. Do you Are you a, a Pablo man? No, no, I'm you, not. You've never seen Pablo? No. Okay. But I heard a few people say he's good. He's, oh, he's very good. Okay. He's very good. Lousy in the sack. But, you know, he's a good comic. <laughs> When you go on stage, do you have the same kind of set every night? Uh, well, it varies in the words, the verbiage, but it stays consistently poor. So I'll change up the jokes a lot, but still nobody laughs at them. Still the level is the same. So you have some level of consistency. Yeah, I, cha- I change up as much as I can because I absolutely hate the sound of my own voice and repeating jokes is... Just gets uglier and uglier. <laughs> But you come from Arizona. Yes. And Arizona is very different than Finland or Norway. Yes, but I don't do stand-up comedy in Arizona. <laughs> you don't shit where you eat. That's right. Yeah, it's it's one thing. If I 
suck a big bag of dicks in Helsinki or Avassa, everyone who's there to see it, I'll never see them again. I don't care. But I live in a town of 6,000 people. If I suck there, I have to see that guy in the grocery store, and he's at the motor vehicle department, and yes, so yeah, you never do comedy where you live. But do you mean that you're not willing to come back here again? No, I'm saying I'm willing to come back because I'll never see you again. I can I I can suck all day and you know I have no there's no risk. Yeah. Who are you gonna tell? You're Finland for God's sake. Yeah. <laughs> but since you are acting in in countries where people don't speak English as their mother language, do you ever have troubles that people just don't get you? They don't really understand your jokes. Well, th- that's where confidence comes in, because if you deliver. Even the biggest steaming pile of dung with great zest and confidence, then the audience will think that it must be the the language barrier that's blocking them from understanding. It must be our fault. We must learn better English. So yeah, it's it's now. In fact, the worse their English, the better my odds. We're going to try to go to countries where they have English maybe as a fourth or fifth language, yeah. Latvia. Yeah. And I just stand up there and pronounce that I am funny, God damn it! And they go, I don't get it, but he must be right. <laughs> he's so powerful. He's he's like Hitler with a lazy eye. I brought swine flu and herpes for the people. Oh, fuck. <coughs> Can we have a wall between us? <laughs> or a window, at least. <laughs> get, a, get your SARS mask on like a Japanese businessman. <laughs> <laughs> but that was the language. But how about the topics? That Do you find sometimes Jeez. that people just don't know what you are talking about? Like if you come to some Latvian country, you talk about funny stuff about Walmart, but they don't even know what the hell well, is Walmart. Well, I come Walmart. from America, so like... In a country like Finland, if I talk about my giant cock, they have no idea what I'm talking about. They don't know what a giant cock is. <laughs> but, but if I go, say, like Sweden, they're very familiar with huge cocks. <laughs> this is, I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, it's been a very long day of promotion, and I'm starting to get a little punch drunk. Ladies and ladies, Doc Stanhope. <laughs> Usually at this time we have we can play a song if it's a band. But what can we do with you? I guess I can. Well, I can show you my giant cock, but it's no, very no, small. No. My balls, however, are honestly very large. Very small <laughs> penis. Long balls that look like burn victim skin. I wear my balls in a ponytail, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if you've ever seen a man do that, but you know what? You you don't get all the popular fashions right away. Finland gets everything ten years after it's popular, and that's why I'm here today. <laughs> Dark Stan Hope, how's your hip hop? Uh, I was just given a, a a letter of apology that I my manager asked me to read. Uh, I'm sorry for. <laughs> never mind. I forget it. Forget it. <laughs>